Welcome back, coding fans. Here we are at Floating Islands here in World Building. Um, and man, there's not a lot of directions over here, huh? We're going to add some stuff. Um, I'm going to kind of condense this down um, for the YouTube version of my entire lesson on this one. There's some cool stuff that you can do. Um, you could add blocks. Uh, like, let's say if you wanted to make all of these on the same level, you could add blocks at 1, 1, and 2, 2, and 1, 6, and so that we can use the same uh, function to get all those without having to jump and stuff like that. But seeing as we can jump, uh, I'm going to do that. The other neat thing you could do is build bridges across. So believe it or not, if you were to world.place stuff like at 2, 2, 2, 3, and then place a block at 2, 4, and 2, 5, it would take you over and you'd be able to walk over to 2, 6 and do this stuff. And then you could place one uh, that's 3, 6, and that's 5, 6, and you'd be able to place one at 4, 6. Um, and you could get from there to there without doing stuff. Now, we did portals earlier, and so I think I'm going to do some portals. But before I place the portals, I need to figure out the best way to get this kind of thing done. Um, and I'm looking at my orientation. You'll notice that our two switches have a gym at the 90 degree intersection. Um, so I'm going to use that. And I just got to figure out where I want to uh, start this out. And I kind of like this right here with a switch and gym on the bottom and then the other switch in front of the gym. So like this and then here it is again right here. And then if I come all the way over here, we're right there. Now, looking at this, um, if I place myself behind the gym here and then behind the gym there, then I can't use it because I can't jump two. But if I place myself right here behind the switch uh, facing what I think is north, um, we should be able to get this done. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at, I'm going to code this a little bit backwards, I think. Um, I'm going to place my character, um, and we're going to, going to then write my function, and then from there I'm going to figure out where I want my, um, my portals to go. So I'm going to go ahead and comment in. I'm just going to say portals, right, right there, just so that that's where I'll code my portals, Okay. And then um, right here, I'll just kind of put like everything else. Cool. All right, and these comments won't won't play uh, or won't run when we run our code because they're commented out. As you can see, they're gray. But this is a great way to kind of keep notes while you are doing stuff. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is initialize my character and place my character. So. I'm going to say, all right, let, and I like the name Bob. It is short, and it starts with the letter B, which means it's going to be the first um, quick keys that you are going to see. Bob's going to be capital character. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, parameter in here. I'm going to say I want name, and this is just for fun, and I want it to be dot blue, B-L-U. Okay, and what this will do, instead of tapping on the character, I can designate a specific character in my code. Um, and then here, we're going to world.place. And I want world.place with the parameter facing. Um, so I'm going to place Bob. And as you notice over here, Bob is the first one that pops up. Oops. There you go. Bob. Um, direction facing north at right right in front of this um, or behind the switch. So at 1-0. One, zero. one row zero. All right, so here we are. Um, and there's blue and he's tired and he's sitting down. Now he's getting up again. Um, so let's go ahead and run our function that I want to go. So let's think about this. So move forward, toggle switch, turn right. No, not move forward. How about jump? Because that way, if we go here where I think I want to go, we'll need to jump. So we're going to have blue jump, turn right, or jump, toggle, switch, turn right. Jump, collect, gym, turn left. Jump, toggle, switch, turn right. Um, and we'll see how that goes. So let's do this. So function, I'm going to call this one solver. Why not? So I'm going to have bob.jump because it's pretty universal. Um, 
if it's up or down. He'll jump forward one, and that's the same as move. Uh, Bob's going to then toggle the switch. And then we're going to have Bob dot turn, uh, turn right. And I'm actually going to copy and paste this code uh, because he's going to do three things for each of these. So copy, paste. So after that, Bob's going to need to jump, and then he's not going to need to toggle switch. He's going to need to collect Jim, and the problem is he's going to need to turn left. So let's get him to turn left. All right, and then I'll paste the third time. Paste. Jump, toggle switch, and he won't need to turn at all. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. All right, cool. So now I need to figure out where I want them to pop back up again. And this is where our portals come in. So I want my first portal to be here at 2-3. And I want it to end right there at 07 so that we are standing kind of similarly to right here. They are the same locations of our switches in gym, just on different elevations. All right, so from 23 to 07. So let's go ahead and um, initialize our portal. So I'm going to call the first one pink portal. Alright, and it's going to be of portal, and then our type color, and I'm going to use this little box down here on the left near our code, um, oops, the wrong thing, right here for color, this box. When that pops up, we can go pink, I'm going to go pretty dark fuchsia, cool. So here we go, let's place our pink portal, uh, so we're going to world.place portal. Okay, and it's got a lot of stuff. We're gonna place the pink portal. Start column two, start row three. Okay, and then end column zero, end row seven, zero, seven. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that and make sure that this kind of ends up where we want this to be. All right, cool, so. When we're done with solver, he's going to bob.jump. And then he's going to end up right there facing to the left. So we need bob to dot turn right. All right. And then we can run solver again. Let's go solver again. Well, he'll then need to go there. So we'll need another portal here at 3, 6, and then ending at 7, 3. So let's go ahead and do that too. Let's get another portal. Um, so we're going to go let blue portal. And it doesn't matter what you really call it, but we want to name it there. It can be any color you like. Um, and this is going to be a portal with a color parameter. And I said it was blue, so we'll make it blue. Nice royal blue right there, pink and blue. Perfect. And we're going to world.place this bad boy right there. All right, place blue portal. And then, so we're going to go here, get this one, get that one, get this one, and then we'll need to jump to right there, three, six. So three, six, and then we're gonna want this to end up where there's a switch on the left and a gym to the right and a switch across. So that would be right here at seven, three. All right, so that will get that going. Now let's see how this is gonna go. Um, I gotta go faster. All right, so we're right here. Um, so we're going to need to go jumper again. No, excuse me, solver again. Um, let's see. I think we got this. 
copy. So after here, we'll need to go solver again because we'll be set up. He'll jump into this one and then if he turns right, he needs two turn rights uh, so that he'll turn around. Turn right, turn right. So Bob dot turn right. And that will get him all the way turned around. And then we can run solver one last time. And this should do it for us if I've done this right. All right, so cool, so that's right. And if you notice, I've got bob.jump, bob.jump right here. And you would think after we get off of this switch that jump would be the next one. And the reason why we didn't put that in there is because on this last one, the last thing I want Bob to do is try and jump off the island into the middle of nothing. Um, so I didn't want him to run any extra code that he wasn't going to need. Um, and that would be, despite the fact that it's only one line of extra code, um, we actually only want, we actually only wrote one more line of code and didn't even really take long because we copy and pasted so much. Anyway, so many different ways to solve this. Talk about an open world option. Uh, like I said, placing, um, blocks and I mean, however you look at this, this is just one way to do it. Um, I'm sure it's not the fastest and I'm sure it's not the best, um, but it's just kind of a, an interesting way to solve this using our, instead of going with loops like we did last time, um, we went with a function and used our um, portal placement to our advantage being able to run functions uh, instead of having to run loops. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Love you.